Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Carbon If you're new here, my name is Leon, and today my wife and I are going to create a tier list for Japanese Axie body parts. So before we get into tier list, we wanted to give you a little bit of background information on the Japanese body parts. So Japanese body parts were implemented on May 8th, 2018 by the Sky Mavis team. Players of the game could change their language to Japanese and breed their axes for a chance at some visually distinct Japanese parts. These Japanese parts were retired recently on April 28th, 2021, and this means that no new axes can be bred with these Japanese parts. It does not mean that you can't use these Japanese axes in battle or to show them off in your collection. So there are a total of 18 Japanese parts, three for each body part. And these parts are for the eyes, we have Kabuki, Doku Ganryu, and Yen. Ears, we have Maiko, Mon, and Karimata. For the horn, we have Kendama, Umaibo, and Yorishiro. For the back, we have Origami, Yakutori, and Hamaya. For the tail, there's Konobori, Omatsuri, and Maki. And for the mouth, we have Kawaii, Geisha, and Dango. So that makes up the 18 parts and now my wife and I will go into ranking them all and putting them into the tier list. So my wife is here and she's going to help me go through it. So I'm going to go through each of the parts which I have listed down here. For every part we'll show three axes that have that part and then my wife is going to rate it in the tier list. S being the best and F being the worst and this is just based on appearance only. So our first one is Omatsuri. So Omatsuri is this fan that's on the back of the Axie's tail. So just based on the fan alone, what would you rate that as on the tier list? C. And then out of these three, the best one would be the green one? Yeah. Okay, so the next one is Maki. That's this little <laughs> Maki Sushi on the tail of the Axie. So what would you rate that on the tier list? D. Okay, so not that impressive. So the last one is Koi no Bori. Again, it's a tail. So is this koi looking tail on the back of these axes. How do you think it looks? Eh. So you like the way that looks? Yeah. And out of these three, which one do you think models it the best? The purple one. Cute cat. Okay, so we're moving on from the tails now. We're done with those and we're on to kawaii. And what does kawaii mean in Japanese for those that don't know? Cute! So we're expecting something cute here from kawaii. Kawaii is this mouth part where it has like the blush and this double U pattern. So what would you rate that in terms of looks? I don't know, B. So not that kawaii. And then out of these three, which one do you think is the best looking? The yellow one. So next one we have is geisha. None of those oh, look like geishas! <laughs> Apparently this is what the game thinks a geisha's mouth looks like. It's like baring its teeth and there's a, like a little bit of lips. lipsticks. There's lips. And nah, like teeth. D, the white one. Doesn't look that impressive. This isn't really what you think of when you think of a geisha, right? Well, it's kind of funny because it has the red lips. So I picked the white one because you can see it better. Dango! I think dango is like a type of mochi, right? Yeah. So all these axes are eating dango. They have dango. bamboo or toothpick with two or three dongos on there. Mm. Eh. Okay, so you like the way the dango looks. Uh -huh. And then which one do you like? Fat little? one. This fat purple one? Yeah. Yoshiro. Yoshiro. So that's a typo on my part. It must be Yoshiro. Mm, not that cool. I'll say C. Models. The yellow pokey one. Next one is Umaibo. So it's this fancy looking horn. I don't know. That's not that impressive. D. And who do you think models it the best? The black one. Next one is Kendama. You know what a Kendama is, right? What's a Kendama? It's a toy that Japanese children play with and it's like a ball and you try to put it on all sides of the scoop and also at the top where there's a point for the ball to land on. B. And the yellow it... one making the shocked face that he got the, the ball on top of it. <gasps> <gasps> Alright, next part is yen, which is the Japanese currency. Like the US dollar, they have the Japanese yen. And that's in their eyes. So the yeah, eyes is hard to tell because it's a little small hair, but it has the yen symbol in their eyes. I'm not impressed at all. F. So we got our first F rating or F tier. Okay, next one is Kabuki. And so we have these red mean looking eyes for Kabuki. I like the A. Okay, and which one? The green one. It makes it look like a fish. It's usually with the fins, right? And has a fish tail. Alright, next part is Doku Ganiru. And that is actually with an eye patch. 
B. Yeah, and which one looks the meanest with the eye patch? The yellow one with the tail. Okay, next one is Mon. So Mon, you have these red symbol on their ears. I like the moon. I'll go B. Okay, and which one shows the moon the best? The white one. Okay, then we have Karimata. So Karimata is an arrow going through the axe. He got shot. Mm, I say D. And the black rooster. The black rooster that got shot. Okay, Michael is next. I think Michael are geishas in training, if I'm not mistaken. So we have the flower on the side with like ribbons coming down, I think. I like that. That's cute. A. I guess the green fluffy one. Next one is yakitori, which is like Japanese food on skewers. So here we have a bunch of mushrooms on a skewer that's growing out mm. of the axis back. I'll give that a S. Oh, we got I our like first it. S. Okay, and which one rocks the yakitori the best? Uh, I guess the one with the bulb on its head. All right, origami is the next one, and origami is like Japanese folding. Art, they use origami paper to fold into different shapes. I think a crane is the most famous for origami. And so you have origami wings. I like the origami wings. Give With that one wings. an S too. Oh, we got two S's in a row. All right, we're on to our last one, Hamaya. And this is an axie getting shot again, except the arrow is going through its back instead of through the ears this time. Oh, that's sad. Eh, C, the green fluffy one. The green fluffy one getting shot and making a face because he got shot. All right, so now that you've seen all the parts and we have our list, are there any changes you would want to make? I think we'll bring Michael up one, mm. Maki down one, Omatsuri up one, Kawaii up one. Okay, you can't see his tail, but he's popping in there. Mm, I like origami better than yakitori. So we swap them origamis first and yakitori second. And I like Michael better than Kabuki. In that switch order. Doku Gandyu and Yoishiro. And switch Geisha and Karimata. And Actually, Yen I think we should Yen. move Geisha down to F. I don't like that one very much. <laughs> Ahead of Yen or behind Yen? Behind Yen. It's the junkest one. <laughs> so Geisha got bumped from D all the way to F and back again. Okay, After this... seeing them all, I've decided that Geisha is the junkest one. It's the fugliest one. <laughs> Quick recap now that we reorganized the list. In the S tier, we have Origami and Yakitori. In the A tier, we have... Koinobori, Dango, Maiko, Kabuki, and Kawaii. Right, and the B tier, we have Kendama, Mon, and Omatsuri. In C tier, we have... Dokuganryu, Yoishiro, and Hamaya. In the D tier, we have Karimata and Umaibo. In the E tier, we have Maki. And to wrap it up, in F tier, we have Yen. And all the way in last place is Geisha. That's our tier list. Let us know if you agree with it, if there's other things you would have changed. And thanks for watching. If you want more Axie Infinity videos, please check out this playlist.